How's it going everybody? Chaos Gamer here and yes we are back with some more My Hero Ultra Impact and in today's video we're going to be breaking down the two new URs that are releasing in game. Now I'm going to be letting you know for free we are not getting a steampunk character whatsoever and I'm actually having an inference as to why that is the case. So that being said let's not waste any more time let's bowl this shit right the hell up and ladies and gentlemen let us get started with today's video. So who are the two characters I am talking about? It is none other than a snowboarding Hawks, which looks absolutely sick to me, and a 100 and million costume All Might. So let's start off with the All Might so we can go more into detail as to why I think he is replacing the steampunk character slot. So one of the main obvious reasons is the fact that, you know, they did the 100 million manga sales, and I guess they are still continuing on with that. But if you guys didn't know, we are getting the final volume of My Hero Academia coming very soon. So I'm guessing they're combining both the 100 million sales with the final volume and making it into one huge thing, which is this All Might. I think this All Might should be coming the 21st, 22nd, or 23rd. We'll have to see. Actually, no. Today's the 21st, so maybe the 22nd or 23rd. But now that we got that out the way, let's take a look at the art and take a look at the kit. So this is Unawakened right here. It's pretty cool with the confetti, but one thing that looks really nice to me is the fact that it says 100 million on the tie. That's sick. And then we have the Awakened art, which, yes, your eyes do not deceive you. The 100 million as the text is going to be in the art. Hopefully, we get to see like it being animated, like the stars are coming out of the 100 million. It's going to be sick to see how this All Might plays out with both his art and the kit, which now let's go we'll talk about that. His plus ultra skill, which is the 100 million smash, deals 700% damage to a single opponent, increases character's critical hit rate by 10% when the character symbol count is 4 or higher stackable. So it's pretty similar to the Climax Battle All Might, which introduced the symbol count that he has, but the kits are entirely different. Makes all allies aesthetic for 3 turns when character symbol count is 6 or more. <clears throat> Sorry. Increases plus ultra effect of all allies, excluding character, by 10%. When character symbol count is 10 or higher, stackable as well. And then increases character symbol by 2 when character symbol count is less than 10. The skill gauge piercing shot if character symbol count is 10 or higher. First action skill, which is going to be the Niagara Smash, your 300% damage to all opponents and increases their skill impact by 30% for 3 turns. Increases character symbol count by 2 if character symbol count is less than 10. Cooldown is for 3 turns. Loving the reduction in damage for specific skill impacts. Also AoE. Beautiful. Second action skill, which is going to be the Oklahoma Smash. Deals 300% damage to all opponents. Double. Oh my god. The Lord has come down and blessed me with another character that does double AoE. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Increases characters plus ultra gauge by 30%. When used <coughs> in a successfully executed skill chain. Increases character symbol count by 2 when character symbol count is less than 10. Cooldown is also for 3 turns. So, not really a big fan of the second action skill. I mean, I, I guess you're getting that plus ultra gauge up, but still, I feel like they could add a little bit more towards that. First auto skill, though, which is going to be service with a smile, decreases action skill impact of all opponents and allies by 50%. If there are any ABL type characters on the team, this does not affect guests. Excuse me, what the hell did I just read? So you mean to tell me that if I bring a blue character, it is not only going to affect the enemy, but it's also going to affect my team as well? What the hell kind of bull is that? Like, why would they even make that a restriction? Like, I'm trying to think of a blue character right now that makes it to where that they wanted to put that restriction on all oh my, what the hell? That is crazy. Like... I want to know if people are actually going to try to find a way to benefit towards that, but hey, don't bring a blue type character or you know what you're getting yourself into. You're going to be doing a lot less damage than you thought. Uh, for every one symbol the character has, increases characters plus ultra effect by 10%, plus ultra move skill impact by 7%, and critical hit rate by 4%. When opponent receives cooldown time reduction two times, makes all opponents fatigued for two turns, only available in arena and club festival. After character receives 3 plus ultra moves, decreases character symbol count by 4, multi-hit attacks equal 1 attack. So this is the second character in the game that messes with boosting plus ultra. So if you guys don't know what fatigue does, recently with the Climax Battle All Might, you were not allowed 
to bring green and blue characters, if I'm remembering correctly, if those were the typings, because that all might will make it to where you are not building your plus ultra gauge at all, aka fatigue. So what this all might is doing is similar to what the other all might is doing, but he is only doing it when cool cooldown time reduction is the case, which actually is a very good way to make sure that characters like movie Midoriya, Celebration Bakugo, Mr. Compress are not really activating those plus ultras at like the same time and then just making it to where they have to use it one at a time, which is very bad and that's how this All Might is controlling that type of play. Second auto skill, which is going to be the American Joke, increases character symbol count by two up to one time, increases character's max HP by 30% if character symbol count is less than eight, decreases speed of all opponents by 15% if character symbol count is six or more, decreases critical hit rate of all opponents by 20% if character symbol count is eight or more, and then decreases power of all opponents by 10% if character symbol count is 10 or more. Gives character the ability to nullify status ailments if character symbol count is six or more, and then gives character ability Sorry, not ability, my bad. This character Bullseye, the character symbol count is eight or more. So overall with this All Might, I'm not gonna lie, he is looking pretty good. Like my God, they finally did it. They made an All Might that was good. Like, cool. I mean, Climax Battle All Might is good, but I'm talking about a good summonable All Might, which the last one we had was the atrocious second anniversary All Might. So if you are summoning for this All Might, Congratulations, you are getting a bang for your buck. So now, let's move on to our second character, which is going to be the Snowboarding Hawks, which, like I said earlier, he's absolutely sick to me. I think me personally, like, you guys know with the different costumes that they like to do in game, number one, fantasy. Number two, gotta be the Snowboarding. And what sucks about this as well is that if you don't pull this man, you can't pull him till next year. So good luck with that. So let's take a look now at his art. This is his unawakened art, which I like a lot. And then this is his awakened art. One thing, a little critique that I have for this is that I wish instead of the sun, they have like the clouds and the clouds will start snowing down on the hawks. That would be sick right there. So let's start looking at his kit. The plus ultra skill, which is going to be the fierce wing shred. He has 550% damage to a single opponent. His character ability to evade three times. Okay, so he's just like gear shift Midoriya with that evasion. Gives character the ability to make a last stand two times when character is restoring HP relative to the damage dealt, and then restores HP of all pro hero allies by 30% relative to the damage dealt for four times. Oh my god. Yo, this Hulk is crazy. What the hell? Bro, this is just the plus ultra. Imagine the rest of his kit. Let's actually take a look at that then. First action skill, which is going to be the Fierce Wings Buckshot. Gives 300% damage to all opponents and decreases the critical hit rate of all opponents by 25% for three turns. Also gives character the ability to evade one time. Cooldown is for four turns. Second action skill, which is going to be the Convert Feathers. Increases the power of all pro hero allies by 25% for three turns. Also gives character the ability to nullify one status ailment and to evade three times. Cooldown is for four turns as well. Yeah, this Hawks is absolutely crazy. Like, what the hell were they thinking, bro? This might be one of the best characters in the game. And I could already see a team where you could build around this Hawks. You could build around the Red Aizawa. And then you have the new All Might that is releasing as well. That's basically your team right there. All Might as the debuffer. This Hawks basically just making it to where that he's not going to get hit as at all. And as well as the Aizawa because he has the ability to evade as well. First auto skill though, which is naturally gifted. What? Increases character's max HP by 100%? These effects decrease by 20% after character receives three attack up to five times. Multi-hit attacks equal one attack. Okay, so if you have a character like Fumikage Tokoyami, which I'm not saying run him because at that point it's like, what the hell? That Fumikage Tokoyami is not going to be as good as other characters in the game, but you're going to have the double normal, and then you're going to have the action skill. That's basically the three hits that's going to make it to where that it is going down, but whoa, what? 100%. The piece of character's max HP by 20% after receiving three attacks up to three times. Multi-hit attacks equal one attack. Okay, so he has basically a 40% reduction. Okay, that's good then. He's kind of the ability to restore taking damage by 100% bro how is he gonna die you basically have to run a character that is giving um bullseye also 
a character that is buff blocking as well. So make sure that these buffs that he's getting is not popping up whatsoever. Because what the hell? Increases speed of all pro hero allies by 25%. Reduces damage to all allies by 30% for 3 turns as the character receives 1 attack from an opponent with bullseye. Multi hit attacks equal 1 attack. Yeah. This is just insane, dude. Like, I can already see it writing on the wall. Every PvP match you're going to be going up against this Hawks right here. So, you know. I'm glad they did Hawks justice, but damn, this is crazy. Second auto skill, which is Wings of Flight. He's had the ability to evade three times into one time, which, mind you, he's already getting out on the plus ultra. He's already getting on the second action skill right here. They had to find more ways. Get character the ability to evade one time after receiving three attacks. Get character the ability to cover allies when character is evading. Okay, so you kind of can't run him with the Aizawa at the same time you can't. I don't know. That's gonna be that's gonna be something that people are gonna have to try out. Sadly, I would have been the one, but. I don't currently have that Aizawa. Maybe when they do finish the login bonus that we are getting the second round, I will have the ability to pull that Aizawa through that 3.5 year anniversary banner. Increases power of all allies by 8% when character is evading up to 5 times, so you're going to be going up to 40%. You have the ability to make a last stand one time when character is not evading up to 3 times. Increases skill impact of all allies by 8% when character is not evading up to 5 times. What the hell? Bro, nah, this character, I'm going to tell you this for free right now, he is a must summon. Like, what the hell? This is insane. If you have to ask me All Might or Hawk, Hawk, go towards Hawk. You can do a little bit with All Might, but make sure that the rest of your gems are going to Hawk. And again, mind you, he is a winter seasonal character, so you are not going to be seeing him again for until next year. On December 1st because that's when this character should be releasing okay so now that we looked at the characters let's take a look at the support mermaid and sorry that I've been sounding like kind of weird with some of the stuff that I'm saying I am losing my voice for some reason I'm guessing because of yesterday at all the videos I did now that it's starting to affect me in some type of way all right so let's take a look at the first support memory right here okay get the homes.com out of the way joyous dash so with this support memory it increases character skill impact by 45% that is a lot of damage when equipped by a male character, when opponents receives cooldown reduction one time, decreases the power of all opponents by 20% for three turns, and decreases the defense by 7% for three turns. I wish this had reduction of speed, but this is still a very good support memory to have. And then let's take a look at the art. Yeah, this art looks nice right here. I hope we get this Bakugo very soon, man. I like what they did with that art. All right, so the next support memory, which is going to be the Hawks one, Cozy Lodge. Increases character speed by 40%. Bro, what? Oh my god. Increases character speed by 40% when equipped by a DST type character. Increases plus ultra gauge of all allies by 50% when character is evading. Gives character the ability to nullify status ailments two times up to four times after three turns pass while character is destroying HP relative to the damage though. Gives character the ability to evade one time when character's HP is below 50% up to three times and then this is the art right here i like the art but this support memory bro you have to max out this support memory what the hell yo <laughs> this all just great i got nothing to say this all just is absolutely crazy bro like what the hell all right now take a look at the sr support memories the first one being snow rush this one increases character skill impact by 25% when equipped by a DST type character. This character the ability to evade two times if there are any pro heroes on the team up to one time. This character the ability to evade one time every two turns up to two times. And then increases character speed by 20% when character is evading. It is Shoto and Midoriya snowboarding. We need this next year. Definitely as a double UR. Midoriya and Shoto. But this SR support memory is just as nice, dude. What the hell? Definitely gonna be maxing this out when I pull it. Now, let's take a look at the free to play support memory. Where is it at? Uh, there it is right here. Best genus. Okay, perfect pick. When equipped by a DST type character, increases character's max HP by 30% and makes character aesthetic for three turns up to one time. Increases plus ultra move skill impact of all allies by 25% for two turns after receiving two attacks from pro heroes. Multi hit attack equal one attack. Oh my god. Listen. Can we just make it to where that maybe just just for December of this year that we get multiple snowboarding characters, please? They just look absolutely amazing. I just need Bakugo. Come on, bro, please. I need this. 
You don't have to release a New Year's Bakugo again. You don't have to release a Anniversary Bakugo. Just give me a snowboarding Bakugo, please, man. This is just too sick. All right, so with that, we have looking, looking. We have looked over everything in terms of support memories and characters. Now, let's take a look at the Discord to check out any other additional information that I have probably missed out on. So we'll be right back with that, ready to go. Here we are on the Discord to check out any other additional information that we have missed out on. Again, I do want to say I want to apologize for the way I've been messing up some of the words. And I am losing my voice. So, hurry snowy mountains search of Step Up Recruit and manga series over 100 million copies published World Recruit All Might. So, I was right. It was basically with the 100 million copies. So 100 million All Might, Free Rider Hawk, Climax Battle, Sir Nightite is returning. Okay, so if anything, oh man. Well, that's gonna be a time. Not looking forward to it. So here we have the Hawks, we got the All Might, the Joyous Dad support memory, the Cozy Lodge support memory, the Perfect Pick support memory, and then the Snow Rush support memory. Manga series over 100 million copies published recruit all my recruit period. He's coming out tomorrow and then leaving on the 8th. So if anything you have time to summon for both him and the Hawks, which the Hawks is gonna be coming on December 1st, like I said, and then ending on the 16th. We have the Black Friday sales that are gonna be going on the way. So we got the 500 gems with the ticket, the 1600 gems with damn, not only all the orbs, but four pieces of support memory. That is insane. And then the Alpha Pack is giving you a support memory, the Beta one is giving you two support memories, and then the Gamma is giving you three support memories with 1100 gems. Oh my god, this is going to be insane. I want to see the prices on how these sales are going to go. If it's actually going to be a sale now. What? She's returning? Bro, this has got to be one of the craziest celebrations that they have ever released. Now I want to summon for Momo. I need Momo. I can't compete in Ultra Arena without Momo because literally I haven't made it to top rank in two seasons now because it's just me going up against Momo, two other characters, GG's, call it a day. And I know you guys can make it to where like, oh, but you don't have to specifically fight Momo, but if I'm not fighting Momo, I'm fighting either a Kaminari, a Sunidai, and it's just like a lot of annoying characters going up against. Only a little bit am I going up against like like not so meta teams, but when you're going up against like the secret teams, bro, it's Momo always. Uh, we have the All Might banner, which is going to be 1.5 times rates as well with a battle entrance and a victory animation. I can't wait to see those in the game. We have the Hawks, which is also going to be a step up banner. So at the fifth step, we're going to be getting the 1.5 times rate when you are character guaranteed. And then the 50 pieces for all, sorry, not All Might, Hawks. Uh, the plus ultra animation for All Might. The plus ultra animation for Hawk, All Might's new skill icon, which I'm assuming that is the Niagara Smash. Yeah, that's the Niagara Smash. Uh, all the kits are consolidated. Uh, Climax Battle Sonata is going to be coming out on November 24th and then ending on December 10th. So stay tuned to that. We are going to be testing out some characters there. The Momo banner is coming out on November 27th and then ending on December 10th. Okay, that's good. So what I'm thinking, what I'm going to do is summon for the All Might first, go like maybe a thousand, fifteen hundred gems in, then waste the rest of my gems on the Hawks, and then towards the end, I'm gonna be summoning for the Momo. Hopefully my gems can keep up with that. Uh, we have the Hawks banner, again coming out on the first, ending on the 16th. The event, that's gonna be ending on the same time. And I'm assuming that's it. Okay, we got the JP version 3.5 year anniversary login bonus that I was talking about earlier, that we are getting more tickets from here. So three, three, six, combining both threes, and then six plus four, 10. So once this is over, I am gonna be releasing my video on summoning on the recruit ticket. I wanted to wait and see if they were gonna do more tickets. Luckily, I did wait and see. Uh, we have the winter login bonus, which is giving us 30 gems. And then at day seven, we're getting 50 gems for a total of 80, not bad if anything. Some new backgrounds that are coming out. So we have the snowboard background, this at sunset, then I, this at night, I want the sunset one, that one looks nice. And then we got the Cozy Lodge morning, sunset, and night. Oh, that is so clean, man. I like that. So with that, that is where we're ending today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like and comment if you want to. You don't have to, but it's always really appreciate it. Also, subscribe. And with that, I'll see y'all next time. Peace. I'm going to go rest my throat now because, damn, this shit is cooked.